Hey everyone, Mark here, back for another video. As always, everything shared in this video is for educational and informational purposes only, so please perform your due diligence before investing in any stock mentioned today. What if I told you you could invest in real estate with a hands-off approach? Not have to worry about capital expenditures or fixing up properties, or worrying about if tenants are gonna pay their next month's rent, or even filling vacancies. Instead, you can invest in a portfolio of hundreds of properties. What if I told you you can invest in real estate and earn income by way of monthly or even quarterly dividends? All right, today we are going to discuss one of my favorite topics, real estate investing. But it's not gonna be your regular form of real estate investing, like thinking of a single family house that you're gonna rent out or a duplex. We are going to take a more hands-off approach and we are going to be investing in real estate by way of REITs or real estate investment trusts. Real estate over the years was really just available to wealthy or it was known as something that was only an option for wealthy people. And it has formed a position in which you, any type of investor, can now invest in real estate by way of REITs. So this is very exciting, REITs, real estate investment trusts. Here you can invest in real estate without spending a lot of money. So what you do is I picked America and South Africa and then you go to sectors um, down at the bottom here and you'll see real estate. You can click real estate. Actually, I'll unclick real estate because I'll click there and I'll pick uh, residential and commercial REITs. And you got so many in South Africa and America. Obviously, America dominates here. South Africa starts coming through. You click uh, the highest five year growers. And you can see here you got REITs growing 1,200%, 145% over the last five years with a dividend payment. So this is fantastic. REITs take a lot of the complications out of investing in real estate and throw them right out the door. Why investing in real estate is a good idea? It is a proven asset class that is appreciated through the decades. So let me quickly discuss what REITs are and how they differ from regular stocks. REITs are companies that own or finance income producing real estate. Think about it, when you invest in a rental property, a single family home or a duplex or triplex, you just have that one property. But when you invest in a REIT, you are investing in a company that owns hundreds of different properties across the entire US, and some of them have properties across the entire globe. REITs come in all different sectors. You have specific REITs that are focusing on properties in a specific sector. You can find REITs in the retail sector or cell tower sector. You can find data center REITs or self-storage REITs. You could also find warehouse REITs, industrial REITs, office-focused REITs, you can find REITs that are in the hotel sector or even lumber. Yes, lumber, timber REITs are out there, as well as mortgage REITs, focusing on mortgage-backed securities and stuff like that. You have mall REITs, apartment REITs, and healthcare REITs. There is a whole slew of different types of REITs that you could focus on and find something that excites you for your portfolio. So let's look at these very specific REIT requirements. You must invest at least 75% of your gross assets in real estate. You must derive at least 75% of your gross income from real estate related activities. Think of rental income or interest income. And then here's the big kicker, that you must pay 90% of your taxable income out to shareholders in the form of dividends. This is one reason why you will see REITs that have high yield dividend payouts. Did you know that over the past 20 years, equity REITs have outperformed that of the S&P 500? REITs are a total return investment, which is another great reason that you should look to add REITs to your dividend portfolio. Looking at this chart here, you can see the 20 year average annual total return for various asset classes. Down at the bottom is the NAREIT All Equity REIT Index, and you can see that over the past 20 years, the average annual total return is over 12%. You can see that the S&P 500 is up near the top as a little over 10.3%. You're seeing more and more added to the S&P 500 each and every year, and looking at this chart here, you can see how the number of REITs and their market caps and weight within the S&P 500 index has grown over the past two decades. Next, let's take a closer look at REITs by the numbers. 
REITs own more than $3.5 trillion of gross assets here in the U.S., owning approximately 503,000 properties. There are 29 REITs within the S&P 500 and 213 REITs within the All REIT Index. The All REIT Equity Index has outperformed the S&P 500 in 15 out of the past 25 years with a trailing annual average 25-year return of 10.5%. There are 12 sectors of REITs to choose from, many of which we went over earlier. So as you can see, REITs are a very fascinating investment. And it's a hands-off approach. You don't have to be very, as hands-on as if you were investing in private real estate on your own. You don't have to worry about the capital expenditure or filling the vacancies or worrying about rent increases. All that is taken care of. And you are investing in a portfolio of hundreds of different properties rather than just the one or two that you may be able to start with from the get-go in private real estate or investing on your own. Now that you have a better understanding of what a REIT is, Let's take a look, in my opinion, of three must-own REITs, all of which you will find in my dividend portfolio. The first must-own REIT is Realty Income, stock ticker O. Realty Income is also known as the monthly dividend company, and this is because they pay a monthly dividend. Remember from the get-go, I said that you could be earning dividends from investing in real estate on a monthly or quarterly basis. If you invest in Realty Income, you're gonna be earning a dividend payment each and every month. Speaking of dividends, the company has a very strong track record of 27 consecutive years of rising dividends. Not only are you getting paid every month, but you're getting increasing dividends each and every year. In fact, the company increases the dividend a little each and every quarter, having done so now for 98 consecutive quarters and counting. The dividend is backed by a very strong diversified portfolio of properties and tenants. Here is a look at the company's top 20 tenants, in which you will see a lot of well-known names that can withstand any economic backdrop. Names like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, Dollar General, FedEx, Walmart, Tractor Supply, and Home Depot, just to name a few. 